Hi, I'm Krista Gardner, principal with the not-for-profit group at Stamp on S, and I wanted to talk to you about an upcoming pronouncement affecting all not-for-profit entities in regards to revenue recognition. This pronouncement in specific is going to be about revenue related to contracts with customers, or what we call exchange transactions. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, my nonprofit doesn't really have contracts with customers. However, how FASB is defining this is it really could include sales of uh, products and services, but also revenue streams like membership benefits, that income related to becoming a member of the organization, different sponsorships, special event income, and even naming rights. So what's interesting about this is an example that might affect a lot of nonprofits is if you give donors a benefit of becoming a member of your organization. So say you have a level of $100. So I can pay $100 and become a member of your organization and I might get certain benefits for you know, entering at that level. Maybe I get a discount on tickets or I get to come to a special event. So what ends up happening is you have to take that $100 donation and identify what piece of it is now considered an exchange transaction, meaning the donor is gonna get a benefit related to it, and then the rest of it might be an actual contribution. So say for that $100, you end up identifying that I get $75 worth of benefits related to being a donor at that level, and the remaining 25 is truly just a contribution. Now what we have to do is pick apart that $75 of benefits and identify when that exchange actually happens between the organization and me as the donor, and then really record the revenue or recognize that earned revenue as that exchange happens. So what can happen here is now we're spreading out that $100 donation over a period of time. Maybe it's a month, maybe it's a year, maybe it's over fiscal years. So it's gonna be a little bit complicated to not only identify the situations this applies to, but then also figure out how to properly record them. The nice thing that FASB has done is come up with what they're considering a five-step process to not only identify revenues that this will apply to, but also help in trying to implement and identify when those exchange transactions should be recorded as revenue. So with all that said, that was kind of just a little blip of what's happening with this pronouncement. I'm actually going to be digging in a little bit deeper and going through some more examples and also talking about how to prepare and implement for this upcoming pronouncement. What's important is this takes effect for all nonprofits with fiscal years beginning after December 15th, 2018. So that means if your fiscal year end is December 31, 2019 or June 30, 2020, meaning your upcoming fiscal year, that's when this is going to take effect. And so you want to, we want to start talking about this now, um, thinking about how we're going to be recording those transactions and even just identifying which ones that it's going to apply to. We're going to be doing a webinar on December 5th in the afternoon from 2 to 3. It's complimentary, free to you, where we're going to just dig into this a little bit more. So I hope you can join me then. Thanks. Bye.